Welcome to Quayholes, the ultimate software program for the design and analysis of gravity type Quayholes. In this example, we will analyze a gravity blockation with infill zones using the classical limit equilibrium analysis method. Inside the software, we can see the user-friendly interactive interface where we can access fast and edit all the items on the model area, like the stratigraphy, the gravity wall section properties, and more. We can see the tabs that includes all the tools that we need to create our model, define our analysis settings, include seismic loads, perform slope stability analysis, view the results, export the reports, and more. Here on the left side, we can see the design sections area. We can easily access and add new design sections, so we can fast analyze different locations around our project area or analyze the same model with different analysis assumptions. And below the model area, we can see the construction stages. In this program, we can include several stages and check the model history under different load combinations. The model can be created manually using our mouse, keyboard and tools on the general tab of the software or we can access the model wizard which includes a logical series of tabs that can help us create a model really fast. In the first tab of the wizard we can select our analysis method. In the basic version of the software we include the limit equilibrium analysis and we also provide an additional optional module that allows us to run the finite element analysis method. Down, we can select the method for the calculation of the water pressures. The water pressures can be hydrostatic, simplified flow analysis, or the software can do a full flow net analysis. In the second tab of the wizard, we can select our model type. So here we can select to do a blockation, slanted segmental block walls, or quay walls with slanted base blocks. We can define the model dimensions and elevations. In the third tab, we can select to edit the soil properties. So we can actually create a list of soils according to our geotechnical report, define the soil types, sand, clay, silt, gravels, geomaterial or rock, define the general soil properties. In the elastoplastic tab, we can select to define the soil models that will be used in corresponding soil models in, when we run the finite element analysis. When, and when we update our list of soils, we can access and we can edit the actual stratigraphy for our model, defining top of the soil layer elevation and soil type below this elevation. We can create several soil layers or for the quay walls, we can select the automatic procedure so the software will automatically create custom lines uh, creating this relief zone behind the wall the natural soil and uh, the base embankment and we can select the soil property that we wish to assign uh, in each of these created zones now below the embankment we will use the more dense s1 in the next tab, we can select to edit the gravity wall type section. But because we use in this example uh, the option with the blockation, this will change automatically and later we will access and edit it from the model area. In the surcharges tab, we can select if we wish to apply an external surcharge. So in this case, we will use a strip load. 0.6 KSF developed for 30 feet starting 2 feet behind the wall and we can also select to ignore or include mooring loads and we can define the mooring load magnitude uh, for operating conditions uh, during an extreme event, how waves and seismic conditions. Below we can select the method for the calculation of the uh, pressures coming from the, our external surcharges. There are different available methods like the elasticity equations, two-way distribution angle, one-way distribution angle and more. Finally, in the codes tab, we can select to 
uh, keep our current structure and geotechnical codes, whatever is used in our software program uh, upon activation, or we can select to apply any other codes of the available codes, uh, and we can select for the geotechnical codes to either not use a code, so we will use service conditions, or we can select to generate load combinations according to selected code, and different codes are available, uh, Euro codes, American standards, BS6349 for uh, quay walls, and more. We can select any of these and select to apply a load combination. When closing the wizard, we will be asked if we wish to auto size the gravity wall. We select yes, so the blockation will be created automatically. And then uh, we are asked if we wish to assign the wave pressure method. If we accept this option, this dialog appears where we can select one of the available wave pressure methods implemented in the software. There are different options like SignFlu, Goda, uh, Alsop, Proverbs and more. We will use Goda uh, pressures for this example. And here we can define the design wave height. The software has implemented a lot of standard waves according to uh, the Coastal Engineering Manual 2011. So in this case we can select any of the available waves and the properties of the wave will pass automatically in our program. In this example we will use a tropical depression. So we select it, we accept and the uh, wave properties are updated automatically. We can select our overtopping method. So in this case we will use the automatic selection with your top. And we press OK. Finally, the wizard asks us if we wish to adjust the seismic pressures for the last stage. If we accept here, then we will be asked to include uh, seismic pressures in the last stage. We can define an earthquake acceleration, let's say 0.1G, and we can select the method for the calculation of the seismic pressures. In this case, we will use the Monobe Okabe method for frictional soils. We press OK and the model is automatically generated. We can review uh, the stages, so we have the initial conditions where the quay wall is not constructed yet, we have the operating conditions with the operating morning load, we have uh, the low wave conditions, and we have the seismic conditions. In the seismic stage, if we go to the seismic tab, we can see that the seismic pressures are applied. If we double click on our caisson, we can select to edit the structural section of it and we can select that it is a caisson type quay wall. We can define the abutment width, let's say 100 feet. And in this case, we can go to the infill zones if we wish to create the infills. There is an automatic selection here that automatically generates the infill zones or we can add infill zones and edit their properties manually. In this case, we will create three rows of five infill zones. Uh, we can define here the thicknesses. We can auto-generate the infill zones. And we could access each one of them and edit the properties, select uh, if, it's, uh, if they are fully filled with soil or uh, filled to up to a specific uh, depth or elevation. And if we accept this, we will see uh, that the quay wall section is adjusted. We run the analysis. Here we can review the most critical results among all construction stages, uh, like the wall moment, shear forces, wall embedment safety factors and more. And if we close this dialog, we can see the graphs in every construction stage. We can see the wall moment with the moment capacities, the wall shear with the shear capacities for every construction stage. We can uh, review uh, the soil pressures. If we go to the low wave stage, we can review the wave pressures that were generated from the software. And if we go to the seismic stage, we can select and see the seismic loads that are calculated on our quay wall. Visit our websites in order to review more information about our software programs and services.
If you wish to arrange a free presentation with one of our technical experts, feel free to contact us. Thank you for watching this video.